you know that that uh, thing I showed you that was in the depths, basically at stage four, that you can unlock. Do you yeah. guys want to? Do you guys want to go for it? Sure. To unlock it, you have to interact with the pod you landed on, and you get an equipment from it. Once you once you get it, you cannot unequip it until it gets to that stage again. And the big thing is, uh, you can't go below fifty percent health. If you do, you immediately die. So it's a challenge run, basically. Until you get to that stage. This pod that we just landed on. Go behind it. And you can interact with the panel at the back. Get fuel uh, array. Alright, now don't fall below 50% the entire time. Or you will die. Oh, ow. Fuck you. Guys, hey, 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 hey. All y'all. Y'all not y'all need to stop being dicks. I don't remember seeing you. You look oh, like a giant head. I might, I might drop too below health because he's targeting me. Where's the guy? I want to shoot someone. Hey, dude. As you're trying to shoot me. That's me shooting you. Oh, was it? <laughs> and... I have my. Oh, let's go through this portal. Perfect. Because if you guys have the little coins, you can get the character here. All right. So this is this is the bazaar. The bazaar allows you to buy unique uh, items if you have the lunar coins for it. We're not going to do that right now. Instead, we're just going to come up here. here. And see this guy with, 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 for 10 lunar coins, you interact with it, and you unlock the character. I don't want to shoot it, though. No, just just come up, no, come up here. You'll see, free the survivor. Wait, so right. I just go here and... Oh, now you can't, because Chaos got it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I fall. I think you're good. <laughs> yeah, you're good. I thought for sure that was that was a bad. What were you trying to shoot Chaos's turret? Yes. That's just mean. Stun grenade. Very nice. But I'm not sure if I'm the one that should be in possession of it. We all get it. We all get it. Ah, fair. Remember, I got that mod for a reason, so we don't have to fight for items. That way, everyone's useful to an extent. <laughs> Just to an extent, though. What in the fuck? This guy has a minigun! No thanks. I'm not dealing with that. Uh, I think you're dealing with it. Hey, we're in hell. Yep, that's, that's where we have to be to get the character. Interact with him. Ah, oh, you've unlocked another character. Good job. Going on a trip and our favorite rocket ship. Zooming through the sky. Ow! Little Nice. Oh no, it's the worm again. Ow. I it's an elastic oh, worm! Wait, I'm, am I dead? I'm dead. I'm dead! Oh, you are all, all dead. You'll revive if I if I survive in the next stage. Got one worm. If you could stop sitting in the wall though, that'd be nice. Yeah, he's just like circling in the wall. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to. He's just like, I don't want to fight you. I just want to swim around in my dirt. There we go. Alright, time to evacuate. Okay, I think we've gotten like most of the chests here, so if you guys want to follow me, come over here. Ow. And this area area allows you to input a specific code, and it will transport you to another realm. And if we complete that realm, we get a... Um, we get something we can uh, activate future runs to change how the gameplay works. Yeah, what? Alright, now how this works... Is that we have to get these artifacts you see right here. And we transport to mid- uh, we enter into the middle. Once we do this four times, uh, then we can get the artifact. Where do we go? Do we have to kill things or find another yes. artifact? Uh, so how do we get the other artifacts? Just by killing enemies, eventually one of them will drop it. And that's so we just put that in. In fact, one of them just dropped right then. So I'm gonna go grab this and I'll go put it in. All right, so now basically what you do is you go to the middle and grab it. And there you go. So now if you ever want to, you can activate that uh, for future runs to modify the gameplay, basically. And so now now we go through another loop, basically, where we have to go through the next five stages again. Apparently someone sees us. I like how the difficulty is just ha <laughs> We've really been going at this for more than 45 minutes. So this is a celestial portal. It's very different than a uh, blue portal that we we saw earlier. Are we about to go in it? 
I already, I already made us go through. What's different about this portal though is it takes you to this realm where you, instead of fighting the final boss, you can obliterate yourself. Which is not necessarily a loss or a win, it just gives, it ends the run, gives everyone lunar coins. So now we can either choose to obliterate ourselves to get a lot of coins and end the run, or we can continue going. Yeah, I'm thinking like since we've already made it this far with how much run time that we have, it'll probably be a good idea to keep going. Alright, and then you go down here and check this portal. So we're gonna fight the final boss then, again? Yee. I just flew so high I actually went outside of the map and it spawned me back in. I somehow keep accidentally jumping so high I like go outside the map and it has to spawn me back in. Oh, <laughs> hi! Grandparent. Uh, oh! Sure? oh God. Grandma! Oh god, Grandma! <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. All right, this is about to be a ha 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 teleporter moment. We gonna die. Not if I have something to say about it. More like laugh, but not if I have something to say about it. Up, oh, I'm about to die. Stop dying, you coward. I say that as I die. <laughs> <laughs> That's that, bro. That's that, bro. I'm gonna die! Oh, <laughs> okay, well, guess I'm solo fighting the boss. Let's go. Yes! <laughs> this is gonna be a long boss fight, I hope you know. Yeah. Unless I die. I think we're, I think we're fully aware. Honestly, I'm getting tempted to make some popcorn. Go ahead, <laughs> this is gonna take me a while. I mean, if I have time, might as well make use out of it. This actually might work in my favor, just purely that he's summoning so many guys. Awkward. Uh, although I need to stay near him when he does this uh, move. Yeah, that's why. Ugh. Couldn't oh. see it because of my own item. That sucks. Okay, we should we should have obliterated. You know why? Because that's how you get one of the characters. <laughs> so yeah, we definitely should have obliterated. Oh well. So can't we do it again and obliterate? Yeah, we can do another run and try to obliterate. I cannot shoot enemies in the air very well with this character. Oh yeah, Artificer's not great at dealing with aerial enemies. Moments later. Alright, so how this works is there's nine cells, and we have to, you have to stand in the field here uh, to charge it. And also, if you are not inside the field, you take damage constantly. We have to charge all nine as if we were charging a teleporter. If we charge all nine, we beat the void fields and you unlock the character. So yeah, loader's not very use that useful on here purely because you're melee when in a very short radius. Good thing you can float. <laughs> Alright, let, let's uh wait, don't activate it yet, so a quick way to heal to do one of our items is go in and out of the field every few seconds. It procs your medkit item. God damn it. Bison and what the fuck are those? Vultures. LA vultures. The birds. Ah, uh, yes. It's things in the sky that I cannot hit very well. I can't do anything. No, you're. you're, you're, you're I said the loader's not that great on here, unfortunately. I'm just gonna walk around this cell like an idiot and just. Just deal like... with any bison that somehow get up here. This is mostly a job for laugh and me whenever I can actually get a hit in. I'm like trying to use like the directional sound to know where the fuck all these bison are coming from, but like it's not helping anything. I don't think I have ever felt more useless in a video game. Hey, we got the jumping thing again. All right, now you can exit. Exit if you'll just fine. You won't take damage. Alright, you've unlocked that character, and now we have to work to obliterate ourselves. Alright, back to your regularly scheduled chaos. My tiny brain can't handle everything. At least you have more than one brain cell. Time for obliterate. Oh, we can't do that for another three stages, sadly. Three stages? The first opportunity is always on stage eight, and then every five stages afterwards. All of these items, we can try to speedrun it. Oh my god! I'm, I'm on the other side of the map. I'm on the other <laughs> side of the map. All right, speedrun time. Let's just try to speedrun the next stages. If you find the teleporter, oh, bang it and activate. Fucking worm! <laughs> Why is it the worm? Why must it be the worm? You, you guys don't seem to like the worm very much. Praise the eating. worm. What am I supposed to do against this shit? Praise the worm. <laughs> Praise the, the worm. worm. So we go in portal. Yeah, and portal. Then we go. We obliterate ourselves here. We commit death pasito. We commit. Alive and so at the obelisk, you just 
confirm the obliterate and then you confirm are you sure? Alive and Alive and Yes! This guy looks like a fucking dinosaur. He basically is. He kind he really is a dinosaur. And then we have Mercenary. He looks like Soldier 76, but at the dollar store. <laughs> Not the quarter. Big the important question is, did you guys have fun? Oh yeah. Yeah, I did.